Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of feed for Google Shopping app by some process. In this video, we will walk you through the sales tax setup in the Google Merchant Center. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks about digital marketing. And press bell icon to get notified instantly once we upload any new video. Google requires the details of sales tax, or the VAT charges, that are charged by merchants on their respective stores. This data is to be fed in Google Merchant Center, so that it can be displayed along with shopping ads. It helps buyers to understand the breakdown of product prices and charges beforehand. Please note, the sales tax setup done in the Google Merchant Center is applicable only for the United States. We will need to set up tax rates for each state of the United States where we are charging taxes. Typically, these are the states that our business has a tax nexus with. These settings are to be done for the states where you physically operate your business from. If our products are being sold in the United States and we do not charge any taxes on them, even then we need to indicate the same under the tax settings of Google Merchant Center. It is recommended that one should consult their tax advisor in order to understand and determine tax liability along with the tax rates for each state and stipulate the same tax settings in their respective Google Merchant Center account. The setup has to be done just for once, hence we recommend you doing it carefully without the dependence on any app that does the tax setup automatically. If you are operating your store in any other country apart from the United States, you might need to add the additional tax cost like VAT or GST into the product's price itself and then submit your feed to Google Merchant Center. So let's get going. Sign into your Merchant Center account. If you have set up a multi-client Google Merchant Center, then you might see a screen like this with a list of all your sub-accounts along with their names and ID. Now, if you are charging a common sales tax in all your stores for which you have created various sub-accounts under this parent account, in that case the sales tax setup can be done at the parent account level. This is the case when you are having nexus with only one or few states in the United States from where you are managing your stores. So from the parent account overview page, please click here on the tools and settings menu and then select sales tax option. It will take us to the Tax Settings tab. Here, we see by default the Nexus settings of all the states are disabled, which implies no sales tax is charged for any of the states. Now let's assume that you operate from the state of California as you have a physical local store or warehouse there. Now, you might also have a question about in which states you are liable to collect and pay the tax to the US government. You can have an accurate answer for this question after consulting your tax advisor. For now, let's log into our Shopify store to check the tax settings. And click on the settings option located at the bottom of the left sidebar. Go to taxes. Once we click on taxes, the list of countries appears for which we are charging taxes. Like here, we are collecting tax for the United States. Further, to determine for which states in the United States we are charging tax, we will need to click on the Manage button. As we can see here, we are collecting sales tax only for one state in the USA which is California. Please navigate back to the previous page. We need to look at a few other settings for tax calculation, which also needs to be taken into consideration while adding the sales tax setup in the Google Merchant Center. Like, if product prices already include tax or not, or if we charge tax on shipping rates. In the United States, tax rates vary based on the buyer's or seller's location, such as state, county, or city. Each state or a local tax authority will have its own rules, which will affect how much tax one should collect depending on whether your business is required to charge sales tax. Moreover, each state has its own rules on what is considered a sufficient physical presence. So kindly consult your tax advisor to understand where you are required to collect sales tax. Based on the Shopify store setup, currently we are liable to collect the sales tax for any sale made within California. So we will need to enable the switch against California. It will show us two options. 
first option is Google Determined Sales Tax or Automatic Setup, which will allow Google to estimate the tax rate based on the location of the customer. Second option is Custom Sales Tax or Manual Setup. By choosing this option we can define our own custom tax rate for that particular state. There is also an option to enable the tax on the shipping rates at the end of the row, it should be checked only when you are charging tax on the shipping rates on your online store. As seen in the Shopify store settings earlier, we are not charging the tax on the shipping, so we will keep it unchecked. Now, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on Save button to confirm the sales tax setup. Please note, as this setup is added to the parent account, it will be applicable to all the sub-accounts, by default. Now, let's say we need to add a different sales tax setup for any of the sub-accounts. For adding the sales tax setup at sub-account level, we first need to go back to the sub-account list page. Here from the list of the sub-accounts, we would need to click on the desired sub-account name. It will take us to the sub Google Merchant Center account. Here, we need to navigate to the Sales Tax Settings tab. As we see the radio button selected here is used the same settings as the main account. For adding a different sales tax setup from the parent account level, we need to choose the second option Specify My Own Settings. As soon as we select this option, it displays the same sales tax setup which we have done for the parent account. If you have not set up the sales tax at the parent account level yet, the entire list of all the states will appear under the Tax Settings tab. The list of all states can also be seen by clicking on the Switch to Advanced Settings option provided here. For this use case, we are going to keep Google Determined Sales Tax Rate for California. So we will keep the setting as it is selected now. Apart from California, we are liable to collect the sales tax from the Texas state. Therefore, we are also enabling the switch against Texas and will use the Google Determine Sales Tax option. Finally, hit on the Save button to confirm the sales tax setup for the sub account. Just before we wrap this up, you might be curious what should be done if you do not charge any tax in the United States. Answer is actually simple. You just need to keep the switch disabled for all the states and save the settings. If you have any queries regarding sales tax setup or anything else apart from this, feel free to connect with us by raising a support request from apps interface using get support widget. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kind of digital marketing. See you again in another video.